This equation looks pretty challenging. And if you take a look at its graph, it's not entirely obvious what the solution will be. Maybe close to 1, but plugging in 1 for x definitely won't solve this. Instead, we should rely on our properties of exponents. And we're going to start off by trying to write everything with an x in the exponent just with a single x in that exponent. So let's break up the 2 to the 2x plus 1 as 2 to the 2x times 2 to the first. 2 to the first is 2, times 3 is 6. And we can use another property of exponent to write 2 to the 2x as 2 to the 2 to the x, which is the same as 4 to the x. Now every exponential piece is written just as a power of x. This is still a bit tricky, but maybe we can make it simpler by combining them. Let's divide by 4 to the x, and since we rewrote every exponential term just with a power of x, we can use another property of exponents to write it all to the power of x. Now we're really getting somewhere, since this is very convenient. 10 over 4 is the same as 5 over 2. 25 over 4 is 5 over 2 squared. Once again, properties of exponents. Squared to the x is the same as x to the squared. And we have a nice repetition of 5 halves to the x. This is extremely convenient to make a substitution. Let's just say y equals 5 halves to the x, and this reduces to a second degree polynomial, something that we can solve. There's many different ways to solve this, but a convenient way here is to factor. We'll move everything to the left hand side, so our equation is set equal to 0, and we factor. Two numbers which multiply to negative 6 that add to positive 1 are plus 3 and minus 2. Now we have a product equaling 0. Either the first term is 0 or the second term is 0, meaning y is negative 3 or y is 2. Remember that we said y was 5 halves to the x, so 5 halves to the x is minus 3 or 2. And if we're only considering real solutions, 5 halves to the x has no negative solution, at least not over the real numbers. 5 halves to the x equals 2 does have a solution. We can rewrite this using a logarithmic equivalence. 5 halves to the x equals 2 means the same thing as x equals log base 5 halves of 2. There's our solution. This video was made as part of a fundraiser for Connect Me Tutoring a nonprofit organization that provides free online tutoring to low-income families across the nation. They've provided over $250,000 of free tutoring with over 10,000 tutoring sessions. If you'd like to support this great organization, consider hitting the donate button on the right of the screen. Any little bit helps. And if you're interested in volunteering, you can become a tutor yourself. Check out the Connect Me website for more details. And if you like the problem in this video, you're really going to like this problem as well. Click the video on the screen to check it out. I'll see you in that one.